Are you aware that Nei Sacrifice is a qualified lawyer? In 2020, at the age of 58, he became a full-fledged barrister after passing his law school examinations. Are you aware that Corneo became an Hollywood actor by accident? He revealed some friends invited to audition when he was job hunting. In 2023, our beloved actor refused to celebrate his birthday and revealed that he was not happy with the outcome of the 2023 elections that resulted in Tinubu becoming a president. He also stated that contrary to his movie roles portraying him as a diabolical person or cultist, he's actually a bona fide Christian and believes the only juju is Jesus. The ever young granddad, Richard Mofdamehu, who's known for his impeccable sense of fashion and style is a trained lawyer. However, he opted for acting instead. He explained that being a lawyer does not always entail courtroom practice and not all lawyers need to be involved in litigation and his chosen path aligns with his personal values and goals in life. Richard said in an interview that he did not want to marry his current wife, Jumobi. According to him, his wife was too nice and he was scared she'd change after they got married. On one particular occasion, the wife visited him and saw other women in his room but did not overreact. Are you aware that he was a former commissioner for culture and tourism in Delta State in 2009? In 2005, he won the Africa Movie Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. He received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 12th Africa Movie Academy Awards in 2016. Osita Ohim Osita Ahim popularly known as Popo did legal studies at IMT Enugu. He was born into a family of five with his siblings and parents all being taller than him. Are you aware that Osita invested the money he made from acting wisely? He owns more than three world-class hotels in Nigeria. In 2024, Osita was criticized heavily for not doing enough for Mr. Ibu who was critically sick. It can be recalled that while Mr. Ibu was battling his life in the hospital before he died, Oki and Popo as they two are fondly called were away in Uganda promoting their movies. In a recent interview, Fanka Kindali explained why she does not practice law as a profession and the course she studied in university. She revealed she studied law to suit her father's wish but later returned to performing after school. In January 2024, Fang became the first Nigerian movie maker and director to produce a movie that grossed 1 billion naira at the box office. In 2023, she contested as a deputy governor in Lagos State under the aegis of the PDP. Sadly, she had an underwhelming campaign and lost the elections to the incumbent governor of Lagos State. The way this guy Kenneth Okonko disconnected himself from Nollywood to become a lawyer is a clear indication of someone who knows what he truly wants in life. He understood time and season, he would probably not have remained an A-list actor if he had remained in today's industry filled with mediocrity and bunch of talentless folks who chose drama over realness, and that could have ended his career. As a veteran, he paid his dues and took a bow to become a very important lawyer of note in Nigeria, today, he's more prosperous than what he used to be in the film industry. Nigerian rapper, actor, an activist false popularly known as false the bird guy is renowned today for being one of the most popular names in the entertainment industry however false didn't train as an entertainer when he was in school false studied law and graduated as a lawyer by degree false is a lawyer but as we can see today he doesn't really use his law degree dot false interest in music began in secondary school he even formed a group with a friend called The School Boys. His professional music career kicked off in 2009. Known for his smooth flow and comedic lyrics, Falls is a rapper and songwriter who works primarily in the Afrobeats genre. The song Marry Me, from his 2014 debut album What's Up Guy, was a major hit that established him as a radio favorite. Falls gained international attention in 2018 with his song This Is Nigeria, a social commentary piece inspired by childish Gambinos, This Is America. Ibuka Obiuchendu Ibuka, renowned as one of the most successful reality TV show hosts in Nigeria, has carved a significant niche for himself in the entertainment industry. However, 
Beyond his television charisma, there's a lesser known facet to his background. In 2005, Ibuka embarked on his academic journey by studying law at the University of Abuja, setting the stage for a multifaceted career trajectory. Following his undergraduate studies, Ibuka's thirst for knowledge led him to pursue further education, culminating in the attainment of a master's degree from the prestigious University of Washington in 2020. This academic achievement not only reflects his dedication to personal growth but also underscores his commitment to excellence. Femi Adebeo, widely recognized for his remarkable contributions to the Nigerian film industry, pursued an academic path in law earlier in his career. While his prominence as an actor and filmmaker is well established, many may not be aware of his background in legal studies. During his academic pursuits, Femi Adebeo dedicated himself to the study of law, immersing himself in the intricacies of legal theory and practice. This foundational education equipped him with a comprehensive understanding of the law, laying the groundwork for his future endeavors. While Femi Adebeo ultimately transitioned into a successful career in the entertainment industry, his legal education continues to inform his work. His nuanced portrayal of characters and astute storytelling reflect a depth of insight honed through his legal studies. Furthermore, Femi Adebeo's background in law imbues his performances with authenticity and credibility, enriching the narratives he brings to life on screen. Regina Askia Regina Askia, celebrated for her iconic contributions to Nollywood, embarked on an academic journey in law earlier in her career. While she is widely known for her captivating performances on screen, her background in legal studies remains a lesser known aspect of her life. During her time as a student, Regina Askia delved into the intricacies of law, immersing herself in the principles and practices of the legal profession. This educational pursuit equipped her with a solid foundation in legal theory, jurisprudence, and critical thinking. Although Regina Askia ultimately found her calling in the entertainment industry, her legal education continues to influence her perspectives and endeavors. Her training in law instilled in her a keen analytical mind and a deep appreciation for justice and fairness, traits that have undoubtedly shaped her approach.